Hello, and welcome back to more Bravely Default 2. Uh, so last time we managed to get the Earth Crystal, and uh, we also managed to finish up all of the quests that open up around town um, following uh, retrieving the Earth Crystal. This must be the Wayward Woods. Yep. So stick to the path, okay? If you don't, we'll never find our way out. People have been losing their way in here for as long as anyone can remember. And none of them ever made it home. Have you been here before, Adele? Oh, maybe once or twice on my way to Rheimdahl. You have visited Rheimdahl, too? Uh, a while back, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we need to get moving. Stick together, everyone, and try not to get lost. I don't see a path. Far to go. Water and Savalon, trees and Wiswell. I wonder what we'll be doing with next. Well, it's the fire crystal, so... You sound almost excited. Don't tell me you enjoy seeing all these calamities up close. What, you'd rather we tippy-toed up to them all scared-like? I'm just trying to gin us up for whatever's next, honestly. So, uh, we're headed to a place called Rheimdahl, right? Yes, it is land legendary for its year-round snows. I hope we won't to be too cold. Well, it's the fire crystal, so I'm gonna guess no. <laughs> wow, we really are seeing the world, huh? But our world, uh, but our work is only half done. There are two crystals yet to be recovered. We have some way to go yet. Sure, but there's no point putting too much pressure on ourselves, all right? He's right, Gloria. That's not going to help anyone. Aye. You're, you have to take up the weight off your shoulders from time to time, even if you do have pals on hand to help you carry it. I suppose so. Perhaps I could afford to be a little less hard on myself. And to lean on you all a little more from time to time as well. I would not have been able to make it this far without your help, after all. The two crystals we have recovered are, thank <clears throat> are ours thanks to you all. I am in your debt. No need to be so formal, Gloria. We're with you until the other two are ours as well. Yeah, it says to stick to the path. I don't see any path at all, so... Uh... Yep, figured they were running away. Um... That's not running away, though. Uh, considering that fades into whiteness, I'm going to guess that's not the path. Nasty surprise. Okay. Come, let us fight. You rang? No, oh, this is easy. Primordial forces consume you. <laughs> to arms. Critical. For artistry, we've got Disarming Scarlet. Or his physical attack. Um, he no longer has treat, so she can't do that thingy. Um, maybe just attack? Alright, you know what? You can just use. I can use an AE for me. Perhaps this might help. Cheers! I owe you one. Let's 
keep this up, guys. Another step in the right direction. Ladder. Ancient bow. back here, so there's probably a boss fight here at a, at a later point. That would make sense. I don't see any other reason why this space would exist. We move backwards. It might be. The portrait obtained. Where does this go? <gasps> Chest. Tactician's hat. The only way to figure out where to go is trial and error. Seriously? Enderlance. We're out of there. Of course we are. Couldn't find that chest. Oh well. Well, well. We don't see you around here often. To what do we owe the pleasure? I'm here to report on the experiment in Wiswald. It was a great success! <sighs> you mean your little dalliance with the dead? The very same. Now I must leave. Farewell! But wait, there is something I've been wanting to ask you. Go on. Why did you give me that asterisk? Why did you make me attack Musa? Because it helped the Lord Commander, of course. Why? Do you have a problem with that? No. Oh. But there's something I want you to understand. I only do what I want to do. I hope that's clear. Now, I must be leaving. Oh, so there is a necromancer in this <sighs> game. Oh boy. This place looks a little easier to find all the chests than the last one. Power bracers. I already know what that does. I like how they have a different... Um, a, a slightly different version of the same theme, depending on where you are. A nasty surprise. Should be fun. Oh, I'm dead. Want to see what I can really do? And you can scam. Vengeful yeah! souls. Prepare to meet your maker. Holy Spirit, heal me. Wonderful. Nothing. Come. 
man, get it! As soon as he puts up reprival, then they start attacking other folks. Come on. What's the plan? I'll sit this one out. My true power. Let me help you. Thank you. <laughs> A mere scratch. It's nothing. No big deal. Let me at him. Here goes. Prepare to meet your maker! Sacred powers restore you! We must not grow complacent! I'll take the hit! There's nothing! Here I go! Ah, uh, Undead Slayer? Time to play my trump cards. Ooh. I thought the first hint of HP, isn't it? Yeah. They're immune to fire, of course they are. Luck's got nothing to do with it, pal. Hey, you okay? I'll take the hit. That's nothing. You are about to witness my true power. Holy Spirit, heal me. Your tale ends here. That was just a big one, did you? Alistor. Oh, oh just for uh, fifty-four eighty P to healing bloom. Fifty ring. Nasty surprise. For a treat. Time to play my trump cards. Primordial forces consume you. Ooh, right in the soft face. You don't want it. That feel better. Oh, thanks for bailing me out. That'll do it. Can really do. Why? <laughs> Build storm of magic to sail you. Ah, didn't like that, did Great you? Serve my enemies. Aye, that'll do nicely. Ball was just uh -huh. a big one, did you? And we got 
Three medium JP orbs. Sands of Time. I right, have one of those. Great bow. Weird. You okay, Adele? I'm sure this place used to be a lot colder. There was a huge glacier right there. No trace of it now, though. Could it have melted? That might explain the sudden change in the sea levels. The wisdom of the line of Musa lives on in you, I see. Uh-oh. Huh? Who said that? Oi! Down here! Whoa! Huh? It's some kind of weird lizard. <laughs> it's very rude to call us lizards, I'll have you know. Gwillem! Hey there, little guy! It's huh? been a while. He's very cute. You two know each other? Sure. We, uh, ran into each other once or twice when I was in the area. You understand us, and can speak our language. You're a dragon, aren't you? A dragon? Like, a monster from a kid's story? First lizard, now monster. You're not very nice, are you? <clears throat> I am Mighty Gwilym of the ancient and venerated Draconic line. Yes, and dragon. what brings you this close to town, mighty Gwillem? The stink of death, actually. I followed it here all the way from home. What do you mean, the stink of death? Well, uh, how can I put it? It's like the smell of lots of life disappearing. Human life, to be precise. Uh... Can I come with you? I want to go and see what's been going on for myself. Oh, I'm also supposed to tell you. In you go. In what? Oh, wait, 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 I need to tell it to mm, mm, mm. You just stay nice and quiet in there, okay? How very dare you? Did you not hear the part about me being of the noble draconic line? Oh, quit being such a baby. It won't be for long. Willem is now accompanying the party. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's great. A frosty welcome. You know what? I've just remembered a story Lady Emma told me. I'm warning you, though, it's a wee bit scary. A traveler got caught in a terrible blizzard and sought shelter in the first town he came across. He found a fireplace there and went to warm himself beside it. When all of a sudden, his nose fell clean off his face! Ew! What kind of a story is that? Nose had frozen up in the cold, and it must have warmed too quickly in front of the fire. It melted right off! I guess we do need to be careful. The weather around here can be brutal. Aye, but it's not as cold as I was worried it might be, I have to say. You think it could have something to do with another crystal? Well, it is the fire crystal that we're missing. <laughs> Maybe. We'd best hurry to Rheimdall and find out, eh? Our wee lizard friend certainly seems to think something funny is afoot. You heard what he said. They don't like being called, li <laughs> called lizards. And the people around here worship dragons like gods. So try not to call him that in front of any locals. Speaking of Gwillem, how's he doing? I think he's asleep. It does look pretty comfortable in there. Ha! Very godlike. You'll have yourself a nice little snooze, eh, wee man? Alright, we're only missing one. Can I find it just by wandering a bit? Woo! That guy moves fast. But only in a straight line. Oh, there it is. Aha! Found them all. Nasty surprise. Okay, let's do this. Game. 
a mere scratch. Want to see what I can really do? Strike down my enemies! Ooh, right in the soft bits! Thing of heart! Ha! Sacred powers restore you! We must not grow complacent! Come and get it! I'm up, huh? Holy spirits, heal me. Another foe vanquished. Time to play my trump cards. Primordial forces consume you. How? Oh, another one fits the dust. Nothing like a battle to get a guy warmed up. Arctic wind. Awesome. Haha! Where'd he come from? Snowbound Land, Rhymedall. Well, nothing much seems amiss around here. Looks like a nice, safe, normal little town to me. Well, looks can be deceiving. This is where the death smell's coming from, for sure. Oh, that stinks of it. Oh, while I've got your attention, I'm supposed to... I thought I told you to stay in there and be quiet. No, 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 wait, I... Mm, mm, mm. She obviously knows him, but... Have you heard? They found another fairy. Another one? Cool. It beggars belief. Yeah. They're just about to call upon the Lord's judgment now. Really? Blimey. Better get down to the square quick then, eh? First dragons, now fairies. I take back what I said about this place being normal. But didn't the fairies all disappear many years ago? Yeah. I would be grateful if that I was I mean, true. at least I heard they did. They mentioned the Lord's judgment. But does that mean they're going to ask some kind of god to help them? That would be my guess, yeah. But this being Rheimdahl, they'd be asking a dragon. They have those instead of gods here. I've never heard of anything like this happening here before, though. Guess we better go take a look at this judgment for ourselves. Adele stuffs Willem into her bag. <laughs> okay, so, um... My comment about fairies earlier. In Bravely Default 1 and Bravely 2nd... Fairies are villains! <laughs> Yay! Like, the worst kind of villains. Like, destroy the world, please, is is what they want. They want to utterly destroy the world. So, um, so, if, if fairies were gone for good, I would love it. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and see what this judgment is about, huh? Instead of and immediately dashing off because I don't feel like we're going to have um okay mage shell I don't feel like we're gonna have anything locking us in not immediately and it's kind of close to the end to be going dashing off and grabbing uh and grabbing quests mage shell Talisman designed to be stuck to the skin that boosts the wearer's mastery of defensive magic. Magical defense plus 22. I gotcha.
You stand accused of the most heinous of crimes, that of being a nefarious fairy in disguise. Oh. But, Bishop Helio, I never... Hush, <sighs> child. I pray as fervently as you do that these abominable accusations are proved false. But though a single drop of wine tainteth a pail of clearest water, still doth the blemish remain. Such is the nature of suspicion. And so we turn to the purifying judgment of the holy, that your innocence might be demonstrated beyond all doubt. Uh. Call upon the Lord of Dragons, who watcheth o'er us all. Ask of him that your guiltlessness be confirmed. Uh, all right. I... I hereby call upon your judgment. Lord of Dragons, watch over me! Lord of Dragons, watch over us all! Lord of Dragons, watch over us all! What's going on here? This doesn't feel right. She, she jumped! Lord of Dragons, watch over us all! Lord of Dragons, watch over us all! Why are you all just standing there? She jumped, damn it! Straight into the arms of the Lord! That she might be judged and found free of sin. But she'll... If her faith is strong, she will be returned to us soon enough. Has that even happened even once? <sighs> Archbishop Dominic! But... but... how can you be sure? How dare you ask such a thing? And of the Archbishop, too! Come, children. We cannot expect these wanderers to know of our ways. Rheimdahl welcomes you with open arms, friends. Join me at the Hall of High Holies. There I will teach you a little of his draconic majesty. My sister was no fairy. How... how could they? If this is what they're up to, it's no wonder the police think so bad. This wasn't the first time, was it? Not even close, I'm afraid. Sounds like we need to go and ask a certain someone a few questions. To the Hall of High Holies. Uh, you sure we want to just go barging in there? It's not barging in if he invited us, is it? Guess it's as good a place as any to ask about the fire crystal. Yes. Come on. Ah. This can't go on. What the heck is going on here? That woman jumped and nobody did anything to stop her. No, if anything, people seem to think that what those priests were doing was praiseworthy. Randall's always been su a super religious place, but this is different. Something's changed here since the last time I visited. Yeah, none of this is part of the teachings. None of this is what Dad wants. And what? And you? And did you see in those people's eyes the fear? Yeah, but who wouldn't be scared? If I thought I might be next in line, I'd be frightened too. And I certainly wouldn't be taking the risk of complaining about what was going on. They don't have any choice but to go along with all this fairy hunting craziness. And the more they go along with it, the worse it will get. This can't continue. The stink of death will only be getting worse if this is what they're up to. And they're doing it to themselves. Sometimes I really don't understand humans. This place used to be so peaceful. Yeah, I get the feeling that this is Adele's hometown. Or this or somewhere real close. This is the exact thing I was complaining about. 
No one's ever returned after jumping into the Jaws of Judgment, you know. I mean, of course they haven't. That's the whole point. Crikey, did I say that out loud? I, um, I didn't mean... I mean, I didn't say anything. Nothing, and definitely not about the judgments. Snug scarf. We already had one of those. Last chest, Light Talisman. Awesome. Bishop Helio was the one who proposed the judgments. Archbishop Dominic then gave them his official seal of approval. First one took place over a decade ago now. The suspect was a young man by the name of Will. He was accused of consorting with fairies in the wayward woods at night. And in light of the fact that he did not return from his leap into the jaws of judgment, it would seem that the accusations were well founded. No. <laughs> uh, given the time, I think I'm actually going to. I think I'm going to actually close this here. <laughs> I'll meet you back here uh, next time. Thank you for watching.